Hello and welcome to my collective haul video. I sort of did something a bit crazy this comeback for end flying and I really went all out for all the pre benefits and I also got a couple of other merch that are released before the comeback and I think it'll be fun to kind of open them all up because they all arrived around the same day. So you can see there's a big box here, there's one over here that only has one album I believe and this one has the poster so that'll be fun. So let's do that today. I'm gonna put away my scissors here. I'm gonna get started with the poster first I think just to get it out of the way. So the first thing you see is obviously this poster. I believe it's only one version because I only got one version from one of the gomes um, out of a moot um, that I have on Twitter. So you can see it's the inside version. Oh, sorry. Move my tripod there. So you can see it's the inside version. Cute, cute. I love this version. So, uh, as you can see, let me rearrange those. So these three are the inside version, and then these three are the outside version, and then there's a whole bunch of other merch that I got. So maybe we should do the albums first, and then we'll see what are my pulls. Some of these are already unsealed, as you can see, because I did join a group order to prioritize my pulls, but some of them are unsealed, so we'll be surprised together. And then these are a bunch of the pre-order cards. Um, maybe I'll show you the freebies that I got. So these are the freebies from one of the gomes, so that's all of them for their anniversary shoot. And that's Han, obviously, my boy, my other um, one that I collect and also this one, which is also their photomatic. These are so cute. I might put them on front of my binder, uh, one of them, for me to decorate further. All right, so, oh, and this is, these two I got pre the album release. These are actually member-specific merch. Uh, one is a Chaohun guitar pick, um, guitar pick set from FNC. It was really crazy. Uh, and also this one is a key ring designed directly by Ho Song, who is the main vocalist. Chahan, if you can't guess, is the guitarist. And they both came up with their individual merch. Um, with no occasion really, it wasn't an anniversary or anything, but they just came up with the merch and I managed to pick two from the same gome, uh, which is a mutual of mine, so yeah. And then these are the kind of Men on the Moon related goods, so we'll do that probably after the album unboxing. So yeah, and then we'll do these last, I think, because those are the most exciting. Let's open up the um, unsealed, the sealed, unsealed ones first. So there are a total of four here, as you can see, and then we'll go through the sealed ones later. So. Yeah, let's see. This is our first unsealed one. Um, the pulls are all back here, as you can see. I'm gonna link a couple of unboxing uh, that has like the full flip through, but just to give you a context, like Song Hyub is someone that I collect pretty thoroughly, and Chaohun is these one. Hey, head right here. So Chaohun is the guitarist, someone I collect not so prioritize wise because my wallet probably can't take it but yeah anyway the album's really good it's their first full album that's why i kind of went all out uh, and also prayer benefits was not a thing i believe until this era and i just really wanted to you know splurge i guess i mean it's a panorama what are you gonna do right so it looks like i did get sung hyub's id card as i mentioned look at him i don't really 
like these to be honest like i don't think they're particularly like worth trading or like keeping but i guess i'll keep it because it's song hyub and i'm gonna okay i'm not I'm never gonna put that back so i'm gonna put that over there and then let's see oh nice okay so she did ensure that i got the right poles so i got song hyub here look at him I mean, this concept is really, I don't really prefer this concept, the outdoor ones, uh, but yes, we got the full Song Hyub set, and also his message card, well, not message card, but like his bigger non-postcard size, as non-photo uh, card sized. So yeah, wow, I'm so excited. One version down, and we've ensured that we pulled everything Song Hyub. Second inside version is childhood nice nice so this is the second one somehow i collect as well and oops looks like yes we did get also challenge poster nice nice i'm so excited i can't believe it all worked out for me so i don't have to like go and look for the cards so these are the two they look identical i mean i love him so much i love him for that he's pretty consistent also he's been spoiling a lot of his like pcs on bubble lately it's really funny um but yeah there you go oh my god actually i do think this is a superior look now that i think about it so let me just grab some hibs one it does look better in real life than it does on camera because like the colors are more contrast it's not super washed out that i thought it was so i'm very 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 excited i'm very very happy i'm happy um but i do have like i guess two spares of these albums now next we have the unsealed inside version so i'm hoping one is a song hip step and the other one is a um, Hun set, so yes, we did get Hun. Okay, I hope there was enough people in the group order that got these. So this is Hun, and then okay, I got a Husan poster. Not to, not angry about it. I love him. I th honestly think I could collect all members of N Flying. I really do. I know people say that all the time. I say that. I mean, I kind of say that for SF9, but not really. I think SF9 is just too many people. Um, but n is pretty manageable, actually. It's five people. If you know how to, like, budget correctly, I think you can do it. So I'm very happy to have his. But I'll also find if one of my moots need him. I'll also double check if they do. Oh, I got a Dongsung. Big card. Yes. He's been everyone's bias wrecker lately. I feel like everyone is really into his haircut this comeback and that's not wrong plus he's also the best at updating like he updates all of us like constantly on twitter and then uh twitter bubble instagram everything dongsung like wins i think he's social media king of the group and then we have fun and also dongsung so i don't think I may look for Hun's card and then I'll try to sell this or trade it to someone who actually collects him and needs him. That's what I really like about trading and collecting is sort of helping someone with their collection. So yeah, I'm very happy with that. So if um, we still have some spare copies, the inside version also has another spare copy. So hopefully we can pull the other Hun that I need or again, I can just again trade it off to someone else. But I do think I like I do like this version a lot more like I think if I were to keep only one copy this is a version that I like I feel like it fits my aesthetic a bit better and it's very cozy and homely um yeah so that's that and now we're gonna open up the second unsealed version oh and I did get some hips ID Yes, I'm so happy. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna turn all of you over because you're just gonna ruin the focus. So there's Sanghyeob. Cute, cute. 
Okay. Oh, and I did get his poster. Oh my god, amazing. And then I'm going to pull out everything. So here we got a Hun big card. Oh, I'm so happy. He looks so cute in this one. Oh, he does look so cute. I really like this version a lot more. I mean, honestly, it is just a spear version, in my opinion. And I did get two of Sanghyub's PC. Honestly, he's probably my biggest collection, simply because he had a solo debut compared to all the other groups that I collect. And I don't, I only collect two groups. So, and he happens to be like someone that has a lot of cards that I'm able to get. Um, but yeah, cute, cute. Uh, let's look at the front. Oh, that's so cute. It's the Makme line. And then obviously our middle child and leader. Ah, okay. So now we're gonna go to the unknown territory, which is the unsealed versions. I did, I am going to give away, um, oh, I did give away actually one of the albums in here to someone who I will also allow them to choose their inclusions from the options available. So hopefully they're also Dongsung biased or they're Hun biased. And we have enough here to like spare them the, someone that they want and someone that they might keep. Uh, and I already did that like a month ago because this album came out like ages ago and I did it to increase the views for the, um, for the music video. So yeah, I'm glad that I did that though because I think like people do deserve a copy of this album for how hard everyone worked on the comeback. So I'm glad that, you know, this time around I will support them digitally, I'm able to support them like physically and then also just give away an album uh, as they need. The rest of the albums I'm just gonna sell because I do need funds for my other groups but yeah. Okay, let's see. This is the inside version. We absolutely do not know what's in this content so we're just gonna go forward. Okay, so the album as you can see, oh, so we did pull a Dongsung ID. Looks like I see a couple people peeking there. Nice, nice, nice. I'm gonna turn these guys over so we don't like. Okay, that's that whole area is a mess. Just like ignore it. So we got a Dongsung ID. Nice, cute. I do see the appeal of his hair this time around. Okay. I'm gonna pull it. Oh, we have a Ho song message card. I kind of low key collect Ho song. I do have a lot more of his inclusions because I'm pretty blessed by him uh, in most of my albums. And we have two very stuck together <laughs> PCs, which of course is gonna create that little indentation right there. That's so irritating, but anyway, it's it is paper. Like, what are you gonna do? So yeah, oh my god, we did pull an entire Songhyo PC set. That's insane. From this like unknown copy. And then oh, and we do have Jaehyun. So Jaehyun's also someone that shows up for me a lot in big inclusions. I think last comeback I had three of his posters because I bought three copies, including a signed one. So yeah, I'm happy. Let's hope the GA winner also maybe won some of these posters if possible. So I'm gonna put like the random ones to that side. Okay, and now we have the last version. Uh, which again, like I said, like I love it. I, I love this album so much, to be honest. One of my favorite tracks on it is Kama, which was supposed to be in Jadon's last album. If you've seen my last video about Jadon's solo, obviously you know like how much I also supported that comeback. Um, but yeah, Kama made it to this tracklist. So let's talk about tracklist as we're getting into like the last album here. Um, I don't really want to cut anything. Okay. So. So I think my favorite tracks on these are, let's find them. So obviously Moonshot is the title track. Um, there. The 
other one that I really liked was Kama. So Ask is something that's really, it's a really, really great song, but Kama was really one of my favorites. Um, look at his blue hair. I think it's, I mean, I love this. I love it. I love his blue hair. I think he suits blue hair. So Kama is the song that I really, really like as well. And then uh, I think towards the end, there's Flashback, which is a song that they promoted with that I also really, really, really loved. Hang on. Where are you, Flashback? I think it's the last track. Oh, Zip is super good. Zip is also very, very good. So the songs that I'm mentioning are like my favorite songs off the album. Um, yeah, Flashback. So Flashback's another song that I really, 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 really enjoy. Otherwise, this album is no skips, like everything. Ooh, look, so we have another Dong Song ID. He is a little bent on the side though, so I feel kind of bad. If I do end up selling this, I might like cop the price a little bit. So that's Dong Song. Ooh, I, okay, we see you a song. Okay, 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 bye, okay. I know who you are, but let's just go with. Obviously, I would pull a Jaehyun in an unsealed album, obviously. So there you have it. Um, and then we have, we've already seen them, we have Jaehyun. Again, I, these two, I always pull them, like, every time. And I'm sorry. I always pull them every time, and I'm not really gonna complain. They're not, like, it's not hard to trade them off. Like, I think N Flying is a group that it's easy to kind of trade and sell, and, you know, there's always growing, it's always a growing fandom, which I really love. That's why I love collecting them. And we have Sunghyub, so we're really blessed in the outside version for these, so. Sunghyub, unfortunately we didn't get the last inside version hun that I need, but I can just easily grab that off um, online. So yeah, so I think that's about it, CD-wise. Okay. The first period of benefit is from FNC. So we got the Sonyeob one as I put them as my main priority, so I'm very happy with that. Here are the cards, I guess, from every single pod that I ordered. So let's try to guess. I have no idea what some of these are from. I might put them in a note below so you all can um, know what are these pods from. So this is Sonyeob's one, look at the back. Very cute very outside version color even though he's in the movie the music video outfit so put that there I have a song you have pre-order oh I guess they connect oh they do connect so I'm guessing this is not Wonderwall but this might be Everline because there was two like it was a set so you got two so yeah so Oh, he's so... I mean, he's like really handsome, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, I, really, I, I, feel, I love collecting Song Hyo. He is such a beautiful, beautiful man. So that's the two other pops also got um, Song Hyo. This is another one. I'm guessing this is K-Chan for you based on the texture of the plastic. Don't ask me why I know that. Yeah, it's pretty flimsy, so I'm guessing it is K-Chan for you. So this is the K-Chan for you Song Hyo one. So that one, I really don't know where it comes from, those last three, but this one for sure is K-Town for you. And then these are from the Wonderwall packs as well. Okay, so this is the Wonderwall um, Sanghyeob, and also I, I believe this is FNC. Oh, this is my music taste. There is like two other My Music Taste cards, but I'm not gonna get them. I think this is as much as I will contribute this uh, comeback, and I'm happy for other people to collect. I sort of just stop at a certain point, but I'm happy that I got like one, like a whole bunch of song here up here, like a crazy person. And this is the Wonderwall one. And this one is the pack that you got if you bought like a pack, a tin of these inclusions and I did a share so I'll probably try to link like what the actual or give a photo here where the actual pack looks like. So this is the 
photo card that came with for you. So this is Jahun and this is Sanghyeop. So it's Polaroid. They're not at all PC size. So if we can compare, they're not exactly twice the size of a PC, but definitely might fit in a three pocket. Yeah, poster that came with it. The Wonderwall package. Super cute. I really like this. I think this is actually more manageable to put up. And it fits a lot more of my aesthetic. I really like having those Polaroid homey film photo type of stuff. So yeah, this is really gorgeous. Let's go through every single member. So that's Song Hyup, that's Hwa Song, that's Dong Song, that's Jae Hyun, and that's Ja Hoon. Okay, so this is the postcard that came with the Wonderwall package. Uh, I'm guessing this is Cha Hoon's one, so he drew it. And this is a Sanghyeop one, so he drew that. So that's additional things that you get from the Wonderwall package. Okay, that works better, right? So these are tiny, tiny. So I'll give you a comparison. Like the size of that postcard, that's not even... Are these like photo card size? Can you compare it to a photo card? Yeah, it's about that. So it's pretty small. So these are... So let me explain. Hoasung has a YouTube channel, uh, which you should check out and I'll put up his link below. And he does these late night, um, end of the day lives. They're called um, Ending the Day. And he released a lot of really cute merch. So he released, I believe, a hoodie, two of these uh, characters that he drew himself. Um, of, of like you know characters for his show and also like I think there was there might not be a photo pack but he's planning to release a lot of merch and one of them is this really cute hippo character um, that I totally forgot what his name is so I will double check but it's so cute it's like acrylic but it's quite hard and these type of like key rings are my favorite types of key rings oh they're really quite tough though um yeah i'm not gonna try that but yeah these are his merch and you can get like a i think i still i don't think the hoodies are available anymore because those sold out the fastest but you can still get these keychains um because he's just so cute and when, if you watch one of those hama things you will realize what i'm talking about when i say he's super cute he's like literally the cutest whatever 25 year old that i know Okay, so this one is Chahun's guitar pick set. So this was released sort of with no connection to anything. It was released like, I mean, he Hun does have, I will say this, like Hun does have a really good content on their YouTube page or related to his guitar. So he does this series of explaining about the guitars that he owns and uh he explains like the differences between like the sounds and like kind of educate his fans about like why he makes certain choices in certain songs like, it's very like if you are really into like behind the scenes music stuff it's really 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 cool and then he one day he just released this um merch line to support that and yeah it comes in this package that says chahun on it i'm not gonna put my finger so if you can see it there it's so cute so you can see his name also written by him and this guitar pick set which i don't know if you can but like you can see that this writing that's also a character he drew it's very it's printed on i mean i have to say it should be more aligned but you know fnc will do what it wants to do and then we have two of his photo cards which is the main reason why i bought them because I'm such a sucker for pieces of cardboard, aren't we all? If you're here watching me, you're really a sucker for pieces of carpet, cardboard. So that's what the back looked like. So for this one with the peace sign, that's what the back looks like. For this one that has no peace sign, he has these. So yeah, nice. And now we're gonna go into this, which is the guitar pick itself. I'm trying to figure out. I think you just... Oh! It is super cute. What? Okay, these are so cute. I mean, I totally changed my mind about how cute they look. Because they are so... I mean, I love really tiny things. 
and you know when like pre-panorama we all could go to concerts and then like try to get guitar picks off like our favorite bands i have a bunch of them in my drawer somewhere which is a bit silly because they're just like pretty standard guitar picks but these ones are so cute because they're real guitar picks but it has like tons of drawings on them so that's a cat that's like you know his finger he always does that like that pose because he's such a cute like cat lover that is the same one as this one i think yep they're the same and then this is just his signature not just his signature i mean i do adore his signature i mean i bias the man so and this is another one another cute character i wonder if this is the same one as the photo card yeah it's the same as the photo card one so that's super cute yeah I'm still thinking about sharing this set with like fellow Hun stands that might not have gotten a cop of, you know, gotten this and kind of spread the joy. I might keep the, like a couple of them and then keep the tin as well because I really think it's a good collectible. Um, I might keep these as well because I think they're really good if you want to store photo cards or something. So yeah, let me bring everything back to frame and we can film an outro. Like I mentioned, these are not literally everything you can possibly get in their release. There is actually, I think, more than 10 fan signs and all sorts of stuff that are coming in. I did purchase a couple of Songhyub and Han offline cards that came in, offline uh, pre-order benefits that people get when they go, you know, see and flying in person, when they had in-person uh, fan signs as well. So those are probably coming or they're going into my binder straight away, but these are... I thought it'd be a good opportunity to shoot everything in one go as I received them both today and I just needed to pick me up. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, for you know tuning in and I hope you all stay safe. Please take care of your health and do what makes you happy and that's really kind of the message of you know this retail therapy going on. Thank you everyone and stay safe. Take care. Bye bye.